Okay, so today I'm here to talk to you guys about health and fitness, um, one of the things that I strive for with my job requirements and everything. Um, the need for attention comes from America. Right now we're in a crisis with uh, being overweight and very unhealthy. Uh, the reason why we need a little bit of attention to this is because our future generations could be affected and actually are being affected right now. Um, body mass index is a measurement of body fat in the body. Uh, it's all according to height and weight, sometimes it's off, sometimes it's on. But right now any BMI that's over 30 is considered overweight. Um, where this can be flawed is for instance, I'm 5'9", I'm 175. Technically I'm overweight even though my body fat percentage is only 9%. Which flaws because I'm not overweight. But according to the national average it can just levy out. So sometimes it can be flawed, sometimes it's right on. <clears throat> so the problem, <clears throat> many people are looking at their increased weight as not so much of a problem. That was Sharon Kirke, she uh, has an article online. And then according to WebMD, 63.1% uh, of Americans were surveyed according to the, their BMI and they're either obese or overweight, which means they're 30 to 45 to 50. Uh, the problems that affect nearly, it, it affects nearly every system in the body uh, can range from anything which I'll show you here right now. Uh, it, these are just a few causes, uh, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, joint problems, gastrointestinal problems, which can lead to all seriousness, and then also social issues. Um, for every pound of body fat, here's a little fun fact, uh, 0.3 miles of blood vessels are added. So you can imagine how much on the heart it takes, how much pressure it takes on the heart to be able to pump all that blood through all that fat, um, which, on, which makes it easier because muscle is full of blood vessels. It makes it a lot easier to be able to pump blood. 90% uh, of the fat men and women so that friends or relatives have ridiculed them or made nasty comments to them about their weight. That was Dr. Rothblum. Uh, that shows exactly what I mean by uh, social issues. I mean, if you're obese or overweight, people have a lot of problems with that and they think that, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, a lifestyle. They think it's very you know, nasty or not good. Some opinion of other people could be that, you know, it's their life. Let them, you know, live the way they want to. The problem is if you eat wrong and you're not doing it, you may not really have a life. You could, you could die from a heart attack at 40 and it wouldn't really make sense as to how you would live. Um, also, most people are very aware that they have a problem and that they're you know, very obese. They just don't want to take you know, certain steps to be able to get it done and they're not actually happy with it. Some are. I mean, there's, granted, there are some people that just love being obese, but they don't realize the consequences until they die at 45 or 50. Uh, fixing the problem is very simple. Uh, losing weight and exercising regularly. It's hard to, you know, it's easy to say it now, but you know, when you get older, sometimes people don't want to do it. Um, BMI, if you start dieting right, and you, you know, do it right, you can reduce it very gradually, very easily. Um, according to the CDC, two and a half hours of physical activity a week is what they, um, what they suggest for cardio-wise, and then also some muscle lifting two days a week. Now, the NFL has done with the play 60 with kids, or lose 60 minutes of activity per day, which is also what you should be doing. Um, but some people, as long as you're getting that two and a half hours, the CDC, which they do disease control, um, which cardiovascular disease happens to be one of their big things, is also lead killer, uh, is what they recommend for right there. 500 calorie deficit uh, for anybody could be used. I know I did it after high school. I gained weight. I was a football all through high school. I stopped playing football and then once I found out I wanted to be a firefighter, I needed to lose a lot of weight and I incorporated a workout routine, I did my BMR, I did all that. did a 500 calorie deficit each day and I lost almost 40 pounds within, I think it was five months. Uh, the opinion, other people think, they think it's, you know, uh, it's not what you eat, it's how much of what you eat. Um, doesn't make sense because yeah, if you go to Jack in the Box and you, you know, eat a big sized portion, it's bad, obviously, but even if you still eat Jack in the Box, you only get one burger, it's still Jack in the Box. It still has all the bad stuff in it. Uh, preservatives, I didn't actually show those a picture of McDonald's that was left out for five months, and it did not decrease in how it looked. It was the exact same. Uh, it was left in just plain air, so that's not what you want to put in your body, obviously. I haven't had McDonald's in two years, so don't think I don't practice what I preach. But Right there, that's a pound of muscle compared to a pound of body fat. So on the right, that's actually all, that's full fat. Um, as you can tell, as I was talking about the blood vessels, as you can see, from a pound of muscle, that's full of blood vessels. It's easy to pump, you know, blood through. It's very simple. When you have a pound of fat, pumping blood through that is not really possible, um, which adds a ton of strenuous work to your heart. Right there, that's all soda. 
Um, well, not all soda, but it's a ton of sugar. So for instance, water, you know, of course it has nothing in it, it has no sugar. Uh, sugar also leads to coronary you know, artery disease, cardiovascular disease, uh, it can also give you diabetes, where you'll take insulin every day, three times a day possibly, um, and it's not something you would be you know, very happy with. Uh, big gulp, I see, I actually saw somebody with a big gulp today and I was sitting there and that's actually, if you diet right, you won't have that much sugar in your body within then two months. So, uh, The question that Sarah Ace asked, uh, are our lifestyles setting us up for shorter lives, which I think is absolutely true. I think that, um, you know, granted we have modern technology sciences that have gone more and more that make us live longer with certain things, but if we keep eating the right, you know, the way that we are now, with McDonald's and everything, it only sets us up for uh, failure. Uh, the problems continue, it's pretty apparent. You're going to have kids that are going to live less, uh, you know, shorter lives, they're not going to be, uh, not gonna be very healthy, and I see it, you know, today, uh, even with my little brother. He was way overweight, he hit 100 pounds at uh, five years old, very overweight, very overweight, so we just basically cut his diet down, made him uh, join football, he got all these things and he dropped down 40 pounds. And then the problem is fixed through my solution of dieting and BMI and uh, 500 calorie deficit, and you just show them exactly what kids can do to basically just lose that weight and make sure that they don't get overweight and you know, can live long. I think we can solve, you know, uh, make it to a less obese America and make everything become okay. And then here's the fun fact for you guys. Uh, a jumping jack burns half a calorie. Uh, a thousand jumping jacks equals 500 calories burned. So if you do 500, if you do a thousand jumping jacks a day, which I know sucks, but um, you know, we're, we're used to it with what I do. So a thousand jumping jacks a day equals 500 calories. If you do a thousand jumping jacks per day, that's been actually 3,500 calories is a pound of body weight. You do a thousand each day for seven days straight, you burned a pound. So uh, even as well as long as your eating habits are correct, if you're still eating McDonald's, it doesn't matter. But and that's it. Thank you. Oh yeah. yeah.